afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode in the ongoing series, The Zoo Comes to You, here at the Central Florida Zoo. My name is Buck, this is Corey, we're two of the reptile keepers, and we're joined today by my buddy Yondu. Yondu is a Grand Cayman rock iguana, and as the name implies, they are found exclusively on the island of Grand Cayman, which is just south of Cuba. However, that name's kind of a mouthful, so uh, a much better name for them is Blue Iguana, and they get that name because of their blue coloration. Now, while they are far and away from the largest lizard in the world, they are still fairly large reptiles. In fact, they can measure up to five feet in length when full grown. Males tend to be a little bit larger than females, though, by about two thirds of their body. Now, if you look at Yondu here, you'll see that they actually have very beautiful eyes. Uh, they actually have, instead of whites of their eyes, they have reds. Instead of uh, the normal color of their eyes like you and I do, their eyes are actually a gold color, so they have these beautiful golden red eyes. Now, like most iguanas, they are herbivorous, so they'll eat a lot of vegetation and fruits and things like that, but they will also supplement their diet with invertebrates like snails, slugs, crabs, and as well as fungus. Now, uh, right now I got him a banana, so I'm gonna give him a treat while I'm answering questions since it's a little bit past his lunchtime. There you go, bud. Completely unrelated, but if you ever wanna peel a banana, never peel from this side, peel from this side. It's way easier. See if he wants to eat it. Banana bud. There you go. There we go. Now, in addition to being very large reptiles, they also have an incredibly long lifespan, especially for lizards. They can actually live on average around 30 to 40 years in zoos, but uh, it's projected that they can live. <laughs> up to 70 years. In fact, uh, the oldest uh, Grand Cayman rock iguana on record was uh, named Godzilla at the Gladys Porter Zoo in uh, Texas. And that one lived to a ripe old age of 69 years old when it passed away. Now, at one point, these animals were critically endangered with only about uh, five to 15 of them left in the wild in 2003. And uh, as such, they actually became a top priority for zoos and aquariums to start breeding them to try and save the species. And uh, they actually made a comeback. They are no longer critically endangered, but they are still on the endangered species list as they are only found on this one particular island. Uh, as of 2012, there are around 750 of these animals left in the wild. So although they are not critically endangered anymore, they are still a threatened species. And because of this, they are part of what we refer to as a species survival plan, or SSP. And that's basically a big database that is housed uh, to keep track of uh, certain animals' uh, genetic profiles and their lineage. So they'll have a big database full of uh, animals just like Yondu. And Yondu and uh, reptiles aren't the only animals on this list. We, uh, a lot of other animals here at the Central Florida Zoo are on that list, including our cotton top tamarins as well as our Indian uh, rhino, PJ. What they'll do is they'll uh, compile all these animals into one database. They'll try and find the best matches for each individual animal, and they'll try and get them to produce offspring. So think of it kind of like eHarmony, but for zoos. Now, since it's a little past 12, it is past Yandu's lunchtime, so we're gonna bring out his salad for him today, and we'll be answering any questions if you folks have. There you go. There you go, bud. Actually, a fun little trivia about these animals. They don't just have two eyes, they actually have three eyes. If you look on top of their heads, a lot of iguanas are gonna have these. That little spot right there is called a parietal eye. It's actually kind of their third eye. There's not a full eye like their other two, but they can detect light and shadows with that. And so that's used for prey. Yeah. So if they, they have like a big predator kind of swooping overhead, like big bird of prey or another animal like that, they can actually detect the shadows from those animals using that third eye and it can kind of lead them to safety. So they'll detect those shadows and then run off to safety, maybe hide in the brush or somewhere safe or maybe even tunnel in like a little cave or something. So that way they can get to safety. Thankfully for them, they don't have too many predators on Grand Cayman. They're actually the largest land animal on the island, if you can believe that. As an island, they don't have a lot of competition from predators. However, because cats and rats were introduced to the island, they are, you know, that's part of the reason their species has become threatened. Okay, we have some questions. Hi, Buck and Corey from Rachel. Which animal is your favorite at the zoo to work with? Yeah, Mar yeah, Marley. Marley. Definitely Marley. 
What is Marley? Uh, he's the American crocodile. And Jen wants to know what is he eating? Uh, right now he has some salad. I believe this is some um, romaine and iceberg lettuce as well as some veggies uh, like corn, carrots, peas, and he also got his banana. And a big thank you to Jessica Wilson who just donated to the zoo. Well, thank thank you, you very much. We appreciate that. Rachel wants to know, are they venomous? No, these animals are non-venomous and that's kind of why we're in here and able to actually handle them and work with them. We do have two venomous lizards here though at Central Florida Zoo. We have our Gila Monster and our Mexican Beetle Lizards. Yes. Whenever we open up back up, you're welcome to take a look at those two. Very cool lizards. A big thank you to Ian Grimes for donating. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm not bad. He's not uh, nearly as old as Godzilla was, but he is actually about 25 years old. That's where now. That seems to be all the questions for now. Well, we hope you enjoyed it. We hope to see you again real soon. Be sure to tune back in at 2 o'clock today to see the next Zoo to You presentation. We hope to see you again real soon.